Now a CBS2 investigation. Why is there water standing right there on that spot in an otherwise dry alley? The man who owns the house has been asking his alderman that exact question for years. When CBS2 investigator Dorothy Tucker started asking questions, she discovered where his taxpayer dollars are going instead. It's overwhelming. You can go fishing out here in the puddle of water. David Johnson began complaining in earnest about this issue two years ago when he started home improvement projects. Photos taken in June of 2017 show lots of water gathering in the alley behind his garage. The problem has only gotten worse after record rainfalls the last two Mays. It rained three, four days ago. Right. And you still have a puddle? Absolutely. Absolutely. It's, it's outrageous. Two days after I spoke with Johnson, it rained overnight again. Less than half an inch and... Once again, a puddle behind his garage. And when you look up and down the rest of the alley, it's dry and clean. So what's going on here? And why can't the 21st Ward Alderman Howard Brookins use some of his $1.3 million menu budget on fixing this watery mess? My alderman indicated that, you know, if we fix your end, then the water will probably find another place to stand. So that wouldn't be fair for uh, the neighbors to get the water and I get rid of the water. We checked the budgets and discovered that 38 of the 50 wards spent money resurfacing alleys in 2018. For example, the 49th ward near Rogers Park spent more than $648,000. The last time the 21st ward spent money to resurface an alley was 2015. I pay a lot of taxes. I think I deserve to have that uh, area uh, paved correctly so the water doesn't become stagnant here in front of my garage. The alderman did spend a lot of money last year fixing things for other taxpayers, an estimated $297,000 to resurface six blocks on Ashland Avenue, and $280,000 to repair sidewalks, including this stretch of sidewalk on Johnson's block. We all deserve the same services from the city. Johnson is hoping the promise of a solution this year becomes reality. Dorothy Tucker, CBS2 Investigators. So we checked with CDOT and we're told there is no approved alley work in the 21st Ward as of today, but plans could be working their way through the system. We asked the alderman about Mr. Johnson's concerns. We have not yet heard back.